turbo thought that I had on top of my mind. So this is about humans and uh, photosynthesis. So I don't know about you, but when I'm out actually in the sun, I'm getting more vitamin Ds, um, I feel like I get more energy. So you know, there's obviously all these like theories about you know like vitamin D or UV exposure, blah blah, but. Maybe my theory about why sun exposure gives me more energy is because maybe it's because your body is actually, when you're in the sun, your body has to produce melanin, a form of hormones or something in your body to actually kind of defend yourself against the sun. Because you think about it, like, harsh sun, UV, whatever, it's technically attacking your skin. So your body's like, oh no, I have to, you know, defend myself. And then it starts doing something which darkens our skin and stuff like that. So maybe rather than thinking that we're somehow like the, what actually the theory is maybe is that actually force our body to react and to defend ourselves and maybe this is even why we humans we tend to thrive when we get more fresh air or pollen or allergens or eat spicy food or cold drink cold shower uh, or even really really hot baths like uh, kind of sauna style or steam baths or onsen or stuff like that is that yeah we humans we kind of want like we actually, you know, the I think uh, in biology they call it hormesis. Is like a small dose of a stressor or a poison is actually good stimulus for our cells and our bodies, and therefore, as a consequence, you know, having black coffee, black tea, green tea, and stuff like that, things which are actually mild toxins are actually good for us. And this is actually why people, and even higher temperatures, um, temp higher temperatures or higher you know, colder climates or places that aren't actually so temperate, places with more extremes, I think tend to be stronger and happier than people who are just like perfect 70 degree, you know, SoCal weather all the time. Because even when I'm staying in SoCal for too long, I feel like I start to, my body starts to atrophy because the weather's always too perfect. And as a consequence, you know, I just, it just puts me to sleep. Whereas like being here in a place like on the East Coast or Providence, Rhode Island, the weather is always changing. So like yesterday it was kind of cold and today it's nice and warm and there's a lot of sun and it's actually like, you know, I even got a nice sunburn today. And so maybe even small doses of sunburn, sunburning is actually kind of uh, good for us. So it's really I shoot street photography I do get kind of like a little bit of an adrenaline jolt and a high from it is that like you know it's scary to shoot street photography but maybe that's precisely what makes it so fun and enjoyable is because of the fear and I think maybe that's why people like to watch scary movies right you watch a scary movie you get all these hormones and then there's the release or you know almost anything else right there needs to be some sort of pressure build up apex and then release and maybe it's this constant fluidity of emotions, experiences, uh, hormones in our body, which is actually uh, quite good for us. And so, you know, so essentially just the, the practical idea is, yeah, expose yourself to more just like randomness and chaoticness, get some more, you know, hot sun. Every once in a while, expose yourself to hot noise, uh, loud noises. I think that's where it's good to go out into public, even hearing the randomness of, uh, So even, um, yeah, like uh, hearing to people with nice music and stuff like that tends to be uh, quite good. Don't don't strive for like super quietness and stuff like that. A little bit of randomness and chaos is uh, is uh, good for us. Um, so yeah, so when it comes to just kind of walking around. 
you know, wave hi to people, take some sort of uh, certain doses of uh, social risks too. I think we tend to fail when we, uh, you know, keep to ourselves too much. So like even now, what I try to do, I try to do the, the head nod or peace sign or thumbs up or waving at strangers. Sometimes they meet me, sometimes they don't. And, uh, and I think that's a uh, part of the game. That's what makes uh, all of this uh, so fun. And yeah, now that the, the sun's starting to come out, maybe it's a good chance to use this uh, opportunity to allow yourself to dose yourself with more randomness, a little bit more chaos, um, some hot weather, some uh, sun exposure and stuff like that. Uh, take more chances, hormesis, uh, Google it, not to be confused with ho uh, homeopathy, which is uh, pseudoscience. So drink more coffee, go on more walks, um, sprint more, lift more weights, just kind of fuck around with it and have fun with it.